Hey guys, what's going on? It's Valix Fury here, back with another Twine SSD build guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how I build my A amp from scratch, so with nothing there. The A amp is the one to the south of your home base. So just down here, last episode we built all of this, and I'm going to be defending that amplifier. So to start with, since I've once you place that amplifier, you don't need all of this anymore because your home base won't get attacked from this side so we're just gonna break all of this get the metal back so I can use it for this um next amplifier <clears throat> you're better off doing this now because you'll need the building spaces later on down the track if it all just falls down now alright there we go water it some alright so We've got B, or A. It's going to get attacked from down there. And I think down there, where the, where my E is. So we're going to have to build and defend from both ways. But first, we're going to make all of the block off. Just block this off. So they can't get up there. We want them to... They spawn here, and we want them to go, well I want them to go this way. I'm not sure if I do that like that, I can do some of those ones. So this is where I want them to come, up here on this. Doesn't really matter if they go that way or not. Up here on this, we don't want them going that way, we want to discourage them from going that way as best we can. So I'm going to create a whole last bunch of block off. This is I'm just gonna start off by building the path I want them to take. This will be the path. So we want them to follow this thing down here. So to get them to do that, we are gonna need to create a hell of a lot of block off. So pretty much all of this area here is going to need to be a block off to force them to go where we want. So we just fall all the way across here and then we'll just come back a tile and do it again. And just, it's pretty much just going to be a wall, row of walls across your space and then the next row of walls across and just keep doing that until you're back on your amplifier. Oh, I'm gonna need to go get some more metal. I'll grab some more metal really quick. That ought to be enough. And what you also want to do is block this off with metal, not wood. So that nothing tries to come up this way either. You're also gonna to need to all this whole section off as well. What I like to do is this as well and really create a big, big wall off. But they have no incentive to go that way. They'll want to immediately turn here. It's just the easiest way to walk. And then they're going to walk in here like this. That's the plan, hopefully. Might as well just... So to add to this, I'm just going to do these first two rows. I don't want that there. So we've just got these first two rows from this side. Just got pyramids and you're just going to want to grab them and edit them to the southeast. Grab all of them, edit them to the southeast. And we'll chuck one more in here. This is so that they don't get to here and try and just break through. They'll actually walk down where you want them. And you probably put another one here to be safe. So it adds an extra layer for them to get through. So they have to walk into here. And then you can chuck walls in here for another layer. And there. And on top of these, you can just put your normal standard pyramid. We'll have to break this wall, then I have to break the floor underneath that, then the pyramid, then that wall. 
and then start breaking through here which you can do more pyramids if you want but I'm not going to yet I don't think they'll break through this but you can just pyramid all of this up and just have all of this as pyramids I might as well do just to make sure nothing wants to come through and we'll just like round those in walls Chuck all of your pyramids in these edit them all the same direction so all to the southeast and surround them in walls that'll look like that and we'll do this back layer as well and surround it in walls I'm gonna put uh, roof pieces all around this and we'll just put a little lid on this so it doesn't get hit by flingers and lobbers because in this way flingers and lobbers they will come over to here and they'll stack up here and start flinging at your base so we're gonna leave this many so we can build a bunch of anti-air traps here you only need six so these six tiles will be anti-air traps and we'll shoot out any of the um projectiles they throw and you just level all this up to level three and that's the very basic start um of the build so that's pretty much we've got them going the direction we want now we've just got to make it even more annoying for them to go that way so we'll get the squares like that with these two on the right hand side place one every tile here i did not want to do that and then these will all be wall launchers these can all be fl wooden floor spikes to slow them down and what i like to do is in here have these as either wall launchers or sound walls all of these ones here just so anything that tries to come through here will get knocked back and want to go up this way you want these all those wall launchers from here so it'll shoot them if you've got too much impact on them you might have to build a wall here to catch them so sometimes i do that just on the first couple just so that when the wall launcher hits them it only will shoot them into that and they'll drop down there you want them to drop down there but this one should be fine even if they get shot over there they're gonna have to walk back up that way and get shot back down there again and the ones that do come down there end up down here we want to make sure that they can't get in the back here so we're gonna block this off from this side like a pyramid on there we'll do this here box that in and then along here is where we want those guys to walk so to make that happen we need to build a wall along here and then we'll chuck a couple of our pyramids in here facing the way that we want to create a barrier from so to the southwest there we can chuck another one here and we can box both of those in and create a whole lot of layers from the walkthrough now they'll want to walk around to here and we can put traps and stuff here as well and we'll do the same thing we did on the other path here as well where we'll create these big um, little wall pieces this is just to keep them as close as this side so that if a smasher or something bigger gets to here it easily just gets bumped down there and then you just upgrade all that so that's the secondary pathway so they'll spawn down here at the spawn which is there I'm all on this where this lava bomb is all on this area i'll come up here they'll go up your stairs and then down this way and anything that survives from whatever traps you've got set up here that you just get them knocked down there so you can literally just have someone stand here and kill anything that's coming down here and they'll get recycled and they'll want to walk around this side you can put traps and stuff here to knock them down if you want like you can put dealing drop traps you don't need to but you can i think i might just for the aesthetics of it And those can just be ceiling drop traps and knock them back down the ramp as a secondary recycler 
and then they'll want to come along here and these are little bit launches to shoot them down there and once they're down there like it's they're stuck they can't get back up the only way they can get back up is if they come up this thing if you really want you can turn this into a recycler as well so most of them will land there you can build like a roof thing over that that shoots them back over there and that's it for that side that's literally all of it you can if you wow well, don't want to get stuck in there if you're concerned about them this not being enough block off you can just add a whole nother layer to it if they um if you have any issues with them trying to break through when you get do this wave just create a whole nother layer of block off and i'll definitely want to walk this way so that's that side done and this side's basically done as well inadvertently because they spawn down here and because you've got your anti-air traps up there any flingers and stuff that try to fling won't work then i'll have to walk up here and you'll have your traps set up here and they'll want to walk around this way you come in here so you can just build them at the top of this ramp anything that wants to walk up that way it's got to go through this and will be sent back down there I'm not really 100% sure where this tunnel goes. I don't think it's anywhere. I think it just pops them out on the other side. Well, this goes all the way down to the bottom. So this is nothing, yeah. I guess that's where the guys you knock down will go. They'll walk back up through that tunnel and come back out there and get shot back down there again. So it's not even that bad. <clears throat> that's pretty much it, because that's, that's going to hold that. You'll have your six anti-air traps here. I'll just go over the traps I'd use. So you'd want a launcher here, a wall launcher, and your wooden floor spikes all the way along here. All the way, wooden floor spikes. Maybe not on that one. Because, well, you can't, I don't think you can put it there if you wanted to. Uh, this you could have as a sound wall. I'd make this a sound wall, the first one, because there's no point launching them over here. This is going to do nothing. If you want to have a sound wall, maybe a tar pit to take away any propanes that can come along here and ruin your day. And then. Wall launcher, wall launcher, wall launcher, wall launcher, and that'll recycle them down there. That's literally it for the traps there. And then around here, I put a sound wall here and here just to get rid of propanes from this wave. You could like double stack this up on both sides and put broadside, 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 broadside. And then drop trap up there, drop trap, drop trap, and then... Probably a tar trap and a sound wall just to be safe so no propanes get past here. And then these are all wooden floor spikes. And these are all wall launchers for those last four. And then around here you can have a wall launcher and a tar pit trap just to recycle them back down here. And that's that one built. If you build, if you build this tunnel and put even just those simple amount of traps in there, you don't have to have any damage traps. You'll just have them going where you want. So you'll have you'll be able to like stand here on this wave. If there's anything that gets stuck around the back, it has to go through a lot more traps. And you can stand here and kill them. If anything's going sideways, you can come around here and kill some at the ramp. It's just about funneling them into the into the smallest section instead of letting them like run riled up this ramp and have like four tiles to spread between. It's a lot easier just to aim down one tile and kill stuff. But that's it, that's that build. So, if you liked the video guys, like the video, subscribe for more content. I'm going to be doing a from scratch of my, all of my amplifiers in my twine. But no matter which one you built, I will show you how to succeed in your SSDs 1 to 10. And it'll they'll stand up pretty well in endurance. The only wave I've had issue with endurance is the smasher wave. So, these will work for endurance as well. Especially if you've got four players. But yeah, anyways. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I think we'll be doing Amplifier B next. So look forward to that. That'll be coming tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.